Hi, and uh, welcome to the Jamo podcast with Jan, myself, Max, and Owen. Hi, everyone. Say hi. Hello, Aaron. Hi. Uh, hi. So coming up today, we will be talking to you about uh, back back in the days of the original PlayStation and 8 megabyte memory cards, to the current day ray tracing enabled games with asset models at the resolution of 4K, and games to come in the future, along with the crazy technology to house the games in the future too. All in our pick are some of the favourite games of all time. We will also be having our friend Sam coming in later. I mean, he's already here, but um, coming in the podcast later to take a closer look at some of his favourite games and whatever other stuff we drift into anyway. So, uh, let's go. Not GTA 5. Not GTA 5, <laughs> no. Okay, so Team Fortress 2. So I don't believe that anyone's played this before. Maybe they have. I've played Maybe it. Maybe once. once. I haven't. Everyone's oh, played only it. Only once. Everyone's <laughs> <Everyone's laughs> out. You know, it, it used to be one of my favourite games, but, you know, recently there hasn't been many updates. Yeah. If there has been updates, then... When was the release date? Ooh. Yeah. I think it was... Let's just get, get that up. Let's just get, let's get <laughs> this. Damn. I've given you the I mean, resources for this. It's, it, it's a while, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's quite an old game. It's like 2008, I think. Oh. Uh, Let me have a look. 2007. Oh, I was close. Yeah. But, um... I played Team Fortress. I used to play a lot. I got really tired of it because everyone was just like so much better than me. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it used to be a great game because it was there was nothing else like it. And it used yeah. to be the only you know team versus team, uh, different maps, sort of ranked gameplay. But because you know they've been sort of rolling out updates of uh, mods rather than their actual creations. Yeah. It's just sort of a bit stale. Yeah, that's true. Because it's like... So a basic weapon, uh, like the Scout's weapon, you just have a skin and that would be an update. <laughs> so it's, it wouldn't be very interesting. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I mean, nowadays, there's a lot of modding going on in Team Fortress. Yeah, a lot of aimbots, mm. and, and I think it's just ruining the game. I used yeah. to love the game. I used to play the game. I've I used to play it non-stop. Mm. I got up to a hundred hours, and I just thought, well, I just gave up because the community got so salty, yeah. and everyone just like it they, wasn't. It wasn't like a respected game. No, it wasn't. They just took it for granted and. They would abuse the game, and it just made me really sick of it. Yeah. I mean, are the developers still working on Team Fortress 2? Oh, they, yeah. They, they, they say they are, but the problem is they're just sort of... They're like, okay, so here's someone else's mod that they've made. Yeah. That's an update. <laughs> no, okay. It's kind yeah. of... It's, it's not... I see. It's, it is an update, but it's not much content. Whereas you could just play another game and you'd have content. The ranked... Game mode that they added. Oh yeah, go on. How much of mess it was. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, remember? I remember the rank. Oh. So they, so because the game was sort of taken as more competitive rather than yeah. casual, they added a new sort of game mode for ranked. But the problem was it took literally an hour to load into it. Yeah. Because it couldn't find the people that were the same uh, skill as you were. So is it kind of it was kind of like copying to CS:GO in the sense, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, and it, the update took like five years to add as well. Yeah. So it was, it wasn't, we, you know, we were expecting more than that, and they just sort of released it. it was like, mm, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I remember that because I, I, it was like against like robots or something, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that it was, was man. Oh, that was the. The that was right the, as well. The though. robots and stuff. That was yeah. right as well, though. Are there still players, was, yeah. or is it dead? Um, yeah, there's still players, but. Would you play it if the developer would bring you updates and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah. I, I would play it again, but I would probably end up quitting because someone's griefing me. <laughs> <laughs> to mm. be honest. <laughs> um, but that's really about. About it for me, Team Fortress yeah. Two. You done with Team Fortress Two? Yeah. 
Anything else? Um, not really. Can Tony Hawk's Pro Skater wanna... 3? Yes. Right. This has got to be a favourite. Another game I haven't played. Let's go. Oh, what? Really? No, what are you right. doing, man? Oh, what oh, are you doing? <laughs> playing other games. <laughs> what was it on the PS2? Yes, it yeah. was. Right. Yeah, I played other games on the PS2, so... So, right, right. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Oh, yeah. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater <laughs> 3. So Max, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, yeah. we got this down. What's going on with that? Well, you know, it's it's one of like the only sort of skateboarding games mm. that was on the PS2. Is this that game where you can taser Rentmas? Or is this another game? No, it's <laughs> Skate 3, isn't it? I remember a skateboard oh, game skate where you can three. run yeah. around with yeah. a taser. Yeah, yeah that's, taser people. Yeah, yeah. Three, that's amazing. But in, in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater uh, 3, it was more, you know, you can play set levels. There were some cool ones actually, and you could also make your own levels. Mm. So you could add like lava and stuff, and you could like do tricks over the lava. And was, yeah, I, know, I, I don't there. remember that, but I remember play, just playing the game. Yeah. Do you remember that Rich. sort of facility place indoors where yeah. you'd like go over the ramps and stuff? Yeah, that was cool. That was quite cool. The indoor skate park. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, obviously that was PS2. Yeah. So, um, quite yeah, a while ago. What year was yeah. that? I can't remember. Was that like 2003? Yeah, I believe it's quite an old game. I believe it was... Um, Pro Skater 3. 2001? 2001. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and I think, I personally think it's got great graphics for its, for its age. Yeah, it does, yeah. I mean, just watching a video of it, yeah. So, like this. It's got great graphics. Obviously the physics aren't going to be great, but... It's not bad. And you have yeah. for 2001? Yeah, exactly. For 2001. I would have thought that's like 2005, 2006. I mean, you could do everything. You could even like customise your skateboard. Yeah. Play Darth Maul. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it had pretty much everything, really. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's great. I'd, I really... I, I've only played that a few times, but I really enjoyed it every single time I played it. Yeah. But it's a shame that Activision... It was from Activision? Yeah. Yeah. Activision published it. Well, actually, it says Activision 02. Back same then, thing. <laughs> same thing, yeah. Well, yeah. Activision, Activision 02. You know. <laughs> but... Yeah, no. It's one of those games where you can just play Tony you know, for hours. Just not really accomplishing much, but just, you know, just messing about. True. Um, so yeah. No. I like Tony Hawk's Potato 3. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, um, one That's my favourite. That Is the audition. character actually Tony Hawk or can you customise your player? No, you can customise the, the character, the skateboard, uh, even like your abilities. Okay. And you can do different tricks and stuff. <coughs> um, Excuse me. And I think you get mods for it, but I have no idea how. how oh, you I do can't that. remember. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't played it in ages. I've not yeah. played it yet. So I'm probably gonna like buy a PS2. Now yeah, just yeah. to play. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but um, so Minecraft. Minecraft. Well, everyone knows about this one. Yeah, I believe Earl wants to best game. <laughs> best don't, game. Don't at me. Yeah. I mean, come on. Everyone played Minecraft. I mean, yeah, everyone has played Minecraft. It's true. It's that game where everyone, you know, it's it's hard to admit you enjoyed it once. You know, it's mm, like, yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, I enjoyed that game. <laughs> um, but like, it seems like really cool when you're like nine. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, and then when I, you I go, enjoyed it, yeah. When you get like yeah. 13, 14, you think it's really uncool. Yeah, yeah. I always yeah. wanted, <laughs> wanted to play um, Hunger Games. But they always kicked you out of the server because that. they didn't move. Uh, I played that. Uh, it's really good, man. It yeah, is it's actually great. It, yeah, it was really fun. Minecraft Master Builders. Yeah. Master Builders is the best. Yep. <laughs> I have a secret to win in that, but I'm not going to share it. Because <laughs> yeah, that is maybe not for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. Um, obviously. Is, is there any like favourite modes or anything? you like to do in the game or master builders I mean, yeah hungry master games. <laughs> um, uh, i mean hunger games are actually it's it's similar to to um 
Battle the game Royale? Mode. Yeah, it's a Battle yeah. Royale, actually. It is. It's I, the, yeah, original. It's the original <laughs> Battle yeah. Royale before it is. Fortnite came I mean, yeah, it's but pretty actually, much. the original would be... Uh, uh, H1Z1, yeah. King, yeah. King yeah. King yeah. of the Hill, mm. yeah, I mean. But, um... Yeah, I... You know, you kind of think, what if the game had way better graphics? You know, people might not but, say, oh, the game. Yeah, games. people might not say it's so good. Yeah. And I think the fact Minecraft. that... Minecraft. Yeah. The fact that it's kind of... Um, simulate an 8-bit, it's not quite 8-bit, it's going to simulate an 8-bit in a 3D environment. I really like that, and the textures are are also very 8-bit. I mean, you can download tons of texture packs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can as well, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the default textures, they're really close to 8-bit, and, and I think that that adds to the aesthetic of the game and why it's so good. Yeah. And also the performance, like yeah. Oh so god, it's so easy to run. You can run it on anything. If you have that Pentium laptop, you know, and you, and you can't run most games, and you can run that. Exactly. That's pretty good. Yeah. True story, <clears throat> sad story. Minecraft didn't run on my laptop. I mean, it lagged. <laughs> yeah. How many it FPS? lagged. Which which one? The it one? was actually a PC. Was no it? Idea. Yeah. Oh, really? I think it was not the best PC. Yeah. When Minecraft lags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. And it was only the better. Mm. Fair enough. You, now, now it's got cross-platform, which is epic. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can yeah, play yeah, your yeah. phone against oh. your Xbox. Oh, oh yeah. Nintendo Switch. Of course. It's great. Of course. I wish other games had that. Yeah. But you can't do it on PS, PS4 because yeah, Sony's uh, like... Stubborn. Boy, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my, my sales and my revenue. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, Minecraft's great. I love Minecraft. Everyone loves Minecraft. Um, Definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very popular though. Isn't it? It's like one of the most um, bought yeah. games. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, but is that it for Minecraft? Is that, yeah. Is that Unless there's any, anything else you want to say about it? Really? Except for the fact that I'm um, just going to say, amazing. no other game comes close. <laughs> <laughs> Terraria. Everyone can play it. Oh, oh yeah, Terraria. Terraria. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't like Terraria. Terraria's not great. Um, Pez, Pro Evolution Soccer, the original yes. one. Um, yes. I think we haven't played this, right? No. Nope. <coughs> I've not played it. Oh, I've either. played oh, it. Oh, you're talking about 2008 I'm, one. I okay. was more of a FIFA guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> me too. Yeah, it, it was kind of difficult uh, competition for what you would buy. I mean, you could yeah. buy both, obviously, but I bought the... Pass, so. Fair enough. Do I think yeah. the first pass was before the first FIFA, right? So pass was before FIFA. Yeah, yeah. I it's think started so. the but trend it, of football games. Yeah, but, but to tell you, FIFA is, is more popular, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, 1995 it was, I, I remember. It was released as something different, like J League, GQ, I don't know how to say that, GQ winning. But I think 11. the most people think uh, FIFA was before pass. Yeah. Mm. Because today it's popular. I don't even know why. FIFA. That's well, popular. I know no, it's no, a bit right. controversial, yeah. but like. Oh, it was before. Yeah, I think FIFA was before. Yep. Oh, oh, was made, it? made in Russia, though. No? Oh, it wasn't made in Russia. What am I talking about? That's the new. That's the new World Cup. Uh, FIFA game. I just don't know. Do you guys? Yeah, it was not night three. Do you guys yeah. think that? The new FIFA games are sort of remakes of the old ones, and they haven't really Every changed much. Every few years, they update the graphics engine. Yeah. But other than that, it's just updates d to do with um, current like player stat status oh. and um, you know teams and things like that. It kind of sh it, they're trying to keep close to the real football world, yeah. which is great. But that means an annual release. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and they don't really change much. It's only sort not of the too graphics. much. No, and but you know, new characters and you know. Obviously. FIFA 19 is nice. The, the graphics are nicer than FIFA 18. So they've changed the graphics. It's still not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's but it's actually nice. a fun game to play. It's good for yeah, grossing. For the full price of what, sixty pounds? I wouldn't pay that. I'll pay twenty quid. I'll yeah. pay sixty quid. I'll pay twenty quid. And then you got the. The packs, right? So then you're paying. Extra. Oh yeah, it's EA. So if you yeah. want, if everyone you knows want, about EA. If you want like twelve uh, players or something, and you really wanted this specific player, you'd have to pay a lot to get it. Yeah. Because it'd be random. So I don't know. I, I just think you know, if 
EA didn't produce it then, it would be a lot better than what it is. Probably would be, to be yeah. honest. Because even with like their Star Wars games, you know, it's pay to win and it's pay for you have to yeah. pay for everything. You have to pay to unlock everything. When Star Wars Battlefront was um, released, you know, you you could it was just random loot boxes which costed so much and you could just upgrade your character. Yeah. Like it was lit literally like ten percent more damage, you know. It's they, just unfair. They do like including things like that though, loot boxes and Yeah. I don't think it's right. I don't think pay to win's good. Yeah. But that's E eight and that is um that uh, Pez. Mm. Going back to Pez, um I mean what can you really say about the original Pez? Um it's you know, nineteen ninety five. You can't really expect a lot. But for then I think it's alright. I yeah. think I think it's keeping up to the nineteen ninety five standard of graphics wise. Um obviously there wasn't there was only really um I mean, thirty two bit processors were new then. This is the original PlayStation, isn't it? So Oh yeah. Yeah, this is <laughs> that wasn't even a thirty two bit processor, that was a sixteen bit. Yeah. So was it? Quite well, it was the first 32 bit, wasn't it? No, actually? I think that was Sega Genesis. That was the first 32 bit. I've got to search here, so I'm getting my facts wrong. Um, PlayStation. Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive. Same thing. So, what was it on the PS1? <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's been on every PlayStation, I believe. Yeah, it has. Um, I told you. R3000. R3000. No one knows my facture. It's an IBM processor. It is. Oh, it's guiding the probe to Pluto. That's really cool. Um, I I would imagine that's. A f no, I don't. No. Nope. Eight. It, it was 32 bits. It was one of the first 32 bit. Okay. Um, actually, know. so. But is that all you want to? Sorry for interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> but um, Pez, yeah, are you. Yeah, I think that's. Done with I mean, that? it's a great game. Yeah, I mean, it is a good not game. Much else. It is, especially for its time. Okay, so nice. Mm -hmm. God, we've seen PC, PS One, and through current gen. Um, so Owen. Current games. Well, we're Ready? talking about EA, so let's yeah. continue with that. So, EA have released Battlefield 5. Yep. Battlefield 5, RTX, brilliant. RTX, in my opinion, doesn't do a lot, just reflections. But, I'll go after leave this for you, because you're always supposed to be talking about it. Yeah, I know. So, um, I haven't actually played it yet. I've got it. <laughs> but it didn't it come with your um, yeah, it 2070? With you got 2070. <laughs> I think the graphics are really good, but I don't see the point in RTX. It's just mm. neither. Like, it just you don't notice it unless you have the eye to notice it in the first place, or or you or you're just playing the game for the sake of playing it and not looking for the graphics. You don't really notice it. RTX is great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, for future, for films, for for gaming, for rendering, for stuff like that. But um, RTX, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Battlefield One was a really good looking game. But yeah. Oh no, it still it's, is. It still I is. It. I love mm. the game. I played and that it. That doesn't even yeah. ray tracing. Yeah. So. so yeah, the Battlefield Five uh, developers actually announced uh, Battle Royale mode. In Battlefield 5. Oh, did they? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, they, 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 this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They announced Everything's it. got yeah. Battle Royale now. Yeah, I'm not going to play it now. So, while we're talking about RTX, should we just explain what that is? Because RTX is kind of, it's not a brand new concept. Um, Ray Trace is not a brand new concept either, but it is newly included in our current generation graphics class. 
it's the first time they've made a graphics card which <coughs> is able to do render. ray tracing, like, yeah, render. Yeah. Like, on the fly. Yeah. And ray tracing simply enhances gaming experience by being able to render models and reflections um, at higher resolutions and using different textures. Um, to do that and combining them even um, and along with that there comes the speed of that that happens obviously it's first generation RTX now um, ray tracing but um, it is already very quick and uh, in the years to come we will probably see that getting a lot better I don't think you should get it yet yeah, yeah. So just, yeah. just just hold on. Quite a lot of money in just hold on until like the next generation graphics cards will come out. Even though we just got a new generation, or if they just release a really good update for hardware, for software. But back to Battlefield Five. What else is there? To I mean, Battlefield Five. It's, it's a World War Two setting, right? Yeah. So also, I'm um, already in a trailer because there were people running around with metal hands and stuff. Yeah. Many fans thought. Oh, this is this is too much. Yeah. You know, like for war or there was a um, actually I think a U.S. soldier running around with a ninja sword on his yeah. back. So I think the trailer was not the best one. I mean, they did also a lot of. I mean, they put in stuff which was not very good. Mm. Which didn't make sense. Yeah. 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 Gonna have to look at this article for a minute, actually. <coughs> yeah, a no reference. Personally, yeah, I don't think it's much different to Battlefield One. Yeah. I don't. Th looking at, I'm I've not played it, but looking at it, I don't think it is much different. I, I would, um, take a wild guess and say that it would be quite similar. Um, but looking at it, as lovely and as beautiful as it looks, it still looks to me like it's. Battlefield, or Battlefield One, and you can only with ray tracing, with the ray tracing enabled. Um, you know, you either run that on high, on max settings, or you don't run it at all, which will require a higher end graphics card, which is wasting more money. And I don't, and I think, why, why not keep Battlefield One? I, th know? I mean, I think the problem is, is I think it's EA. Mm. I think DICE do a great job, you know, the graphics, you know, mostly the gameplay is like bugs and stuff, usually in most games that they're doing. Mm -hmm. I just think, you know, EA, they want money, so they're going to go, okay, release it early, Yeah. release it, it doesn't release matter if it's broken, you know. <laughs> Always you know, yeah, put loot boxes in it, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> make, make the price of the game, you know, £60, no less, otherwise, mm. you know, we're going to go bankrupt, well, that's not true. Um, Good thing I got mine for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a, with a RTX card that costs yeah, five hundred quid. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, is that it for Battlefield yeah, Five? Would you say? Yeah. I mean, I we don't know much more about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say Battlefield Five <laughs> is a bad game. I mean, I haven't really played it. It isn't. It, it is actually not a bad game. Yeah. It could be a lot better. Yeah. I just think you know EA. You know, yeah, just kind of put EA it just down. needs to stop. Yeah, <laughs> they just want the money. Yeah. Okay, so one game we all love for all both the graphics engine, well, both Mac the game Max, engine. Max, Max has not it. played it. He will know, and for the gameplay and for just the love of Forza, it's Forza Horizon Four, the brand new, not brand new game, coming out on it. That's come out on Xbox and PC, but let's talk about that, shall we? <laughs> we know all about that already. Well, yeah, I we, also haven't played it. Yeah, you, you haven't? haven't played it. It's just me and you, and I don't know if Sam has, but <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, but yeah we've we've <coughs> got over a hundred hours in it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've I've got I've got hundred thirty, probably one hundred fifty. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. Really? Yeah. You, you got 165. 165? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, but Horizon 4, I love this game, so I'm probably going to accidentally take the lead in this, but um, <laughs> graphics. Yeah. 
amazing. phenomenal. It's not even RTX and it looks photorealistic. I mean, I've taken screenshots on that game that I, you know, you can mistake it mistake those screenshots for a real life photograph obviously if the cars weren't modified but um for those who don't know it is a car game um and most of the games we talk about are um actually shooter games at the moment so we're gonna mix that up um but <coughs> horizon 4 um, pure customization, loads of customization options, um, amazing graphics. Still a bit buggy. Yeah, still a bit buggy. Um, the physics aren't the best, but um, you know, if you play the, if you play it, you know, I don't think you really notice that. Obviously, flip um, when you flip your car. <laughs> That becomes um, kind of more like um, Grand Theft Auto Five in the sense that you can flip a car back, um, but that, that's really. That, what? Anyone? Well, I was just gonna say it's like it. it so the re replayability is it's oh, not yeah. too good because once you complete once you, most yeah, once of you complete it, it, it's boring. it kind of gets a bit boring unless yeah. you're playing with friends. I've completed it, and I only ever play it with with you. Well, well when you and other e people Abraham, from Abraham Rush. and that. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't take that long for me to complete it either, which I think is a bad thing. Um, and that obviously they and they've released um they released DLC, they released a new story mode. Um Was it free DLC? No, it's not free. No. Oh, oh no. really? Okay. Well they make a whole new map and then But it was it was bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they really every every horizon they release a bad DLC and a really good one for some reason. <coughs> but um play yeah, playability wise, um money in game currency you you can't buy that third party or well you can but um it's so easy to generate in game i think it's great i think world spins concepts are great um and um you know it's it's not it's nothing like a pay to win it's so comfortable to play it doesn't feel like a job to try and complete it and you know you naturally progress so easily and i think that is another thing that makes it stand out from most of the other games nowadays yeah i heard you like the the music that the game has. oh music's great on the game and the, and the sound effects are amazing as well yeah, well, yeah i'm pretty sure they like record the, actual real yeah ones yeah it's game. really it's good yeah, it's not generated um have you played it Ian? you nope. haven't have you but i saw some gameplay do you like it? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I, I do, also like the cars, I mean. Yeah, it's got good cars. Yeah. I do recommend it um, to anyone. But, like I say, you know, usability and progression story wise, you know. I mean, how are the controls? I mean, sometimes in a car game, controls aren't the best. One. I use my manual um, without clutch, but I use manual manual shift so okay. but when I'm playing um, on the keyboard WASD and I, I've made it so E to shift up Q to shift down so it's kind of easy mm -hmm. um, I can't remember where the default ones are but I think it's something like really weird like there like V, v and G oh, okay. it's really weird but <coughs> that's not great some of the controls aren't Bind, haven't binded correctly, but um, I think that aside, you know, you're missing out if you haven't played it. You are. Yeah. It's a great experience, especially when you're playing with friends. Such a lovely game. Um, I took lead there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, um, Should we quickly just say about the quickly? Um, 
there's rumours on Forza Motorsport 4 coming to Xbox One. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. That's not to be mistaken for Horizon 4. They're completely different games. Motorsport. The original um, Motorsport 4 is um, not completely different, but the difference is Horizon, the Horizon editions of games, of the Forza games, are open world and the normal Motorsport edition games are not open world. You load into maps, um, racetracks, but that's really cool. I mean, um, I hope it comes. I can't, I can't wait for that. Xbox. Um, I don't have Xbox, but I'll be down yours. <laughs> <laughs> the day that happens, um, but is that? Yeah. Ooh, I have have that's... I done? Have I said everything that you wanted to say? Pretty much. <laughs> um, okay. So should we like move on to Red Dead, or... Red Dead Redemption Red Dead. Two? So, uh. And funnily enough, we've got Sam here. Hi, Sam. Hello. How are you doing? AKA he's... Black Lung today. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's a bit ill I've today. I've got a really bad cough, so I apologise if I'm. Coughing over everything. That's fine. Probably um, heard me in the background. Yeah. <laughs> we've got we've got Sam um, who's going to talk talk with talk us Good about start. Red Dead Two. He loves he loves the game. Um, he's completed it twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything, um, but um, depending on your honor, it changes the story. Yeah. And um, so I got a really. I got an ending I didn't like, so I replayed oh, the whole good. game to get a good ending. I don't Wait, so, so you had a like bad honour? Oh. <laughs> I don't like My it. My honour was on the highest, didn't we? On the highest. You played it, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think we were the only one who played, yeah. Sam and me. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about it then. Um, so, starting off, um, anything you want to say firstly before they kind of just... <laughs> I don't get the hype. You don't get the hype? Oh. I don't understand. I'm not into <coughs> Western style games, really, yeah, but I would buy it. I think it's a good game. But um, what about the multiplayer? I heard it wasn't wasn't very good. Well, it's in beta right now, so um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's in beta right now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So the problem that, in in the multiplayer is weapons cost like five thousand, a couple of weapons, oh. and the haircut is like thirty dollars. How yeah. hard is that to get money? You in get like from a mission like twelve dollars. Yeah, from couple of Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, <laughs> but it's it's worse than Grand Theft Auto Five then, isn't it? Because I it still I still play that, um, and I'm you know, I mod it, but I, sh I shouldn't. But <laughs> you know when you finish yeah when you finish the intro in multiplayer you get a hundred dollars. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh then, my God. then you go like in the weapon store, want to buy a weapon, but then you see a weapon cost like from a thousand to five thousand dollars. <laughs> Jeez. And my friends oh my uh, went to the barber and spent like hundred dollars just uh, on barber. Very stupid, <laughs> but yeah. I think as the story goes, though, um, Red Dead Redemption Two has got the better story over GTA Five. Oh, I, I should imagine 100%, so. Is I mean, Grand Theft Auto Five. Morgan, best character ever. It's, it's uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is great for yeah. replay value. Honestly, I don't yeah. get bored, but um, I've not played Red Dead, but I've seen seen it oh, and yeah, I should imagine I should imagine it's yeah well, it looks better when, you, when you're playing it you really feel like because uh, the reason I really wanted to play is because um, the first actual Rockstar game I think I played was um, Red Dead Redemption 1 mm. and then when I heard Red Dead Redemption 2 was coming out I was really excited and I, I'm a big fan of movies as you know I'm yeah. a big fan of, of Clint Eastwood movies westerns and yeah, it's, it's like yeah, it's <laughs> basically that you're, you're, you're in love yeah Fair enough. Um, you said online was in beta. I can't remember when that's coming out. When's that coming out? That's <coughs> no clear. Yet. There's no release date now. There's no release. No. Isn't it coming out for PC in like a year's time though, or this year? No. I think. I hope so. They, they sort of pulled the GTA Five as I swear. The uh, multiplayer when GTA Five first came out, everyone was disconnecting. It was awful. Oh yeah. And then you, you could only really do races and a and couple of missions. That, and that's came, it. that came out two years at on PC. Two years yeah. after on PC, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. There was such a messy code. So I hope that's not like Red Dead. I don't yeah. want to wait that long. I want the game. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, the reason we're not getting Red Dead One on PC is because the code's so messy. And um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, so, on a Red Dead 2, are the loading times bad or? They're really good actually, I, I was oh, impressed, yeah. I was expecting to be really bad. Yeah. Um, but, I think... They're better than in GTA 5 yeah. online actually. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Okay. 
Um, but um, is that RTX? Do we know if that's RTX? Red Dead. No. It's not RTX. Well, it's oh. on console. Oh yeah, it's on console, isn't it? That's gonna take. Well, do you know when the new ones are coming out? That that shouldn't be too long because RTX has just come out. You, does anyone know anything about new generation consoles? I haven't really heard that. Uh, no. 2020, maybe. 2020? Oh, it's uh, way 2021. too long. I think we're going to have to wait about a year and a half until we even get um, even a leak about the PC <laughs> when we get Red Dead, though. Mm. I should I should hope it's not as messy as Grand Theft Auto yeah. 5 and Red Dead 1. But what what I was thinking is that you know when GTA 5 first came out on um, PS3 and Xbox 360, mm. everyone looked at these are the best graphics we've ever seen. It was, yeah. it was. And now you look back and you're like, hold on. So think about when it's it comes still out good on, though. Yeah, yeah think about Red Dead 2. Yeah. yeah. If they bring it on PC with a remaster, how oh. are we going to see the original Red Dead? Are we going to think, oh, it wasn't that good because we've got much better? It's weird to think. Just pause it. John, shut up. Um, because every year we're like best graphics ever. It can't get any better, and then it yeah. gets better. As I, as I, um, as we were saying a second ago, that still, Grand Theft Auto V's graphics is still very good. Oh, yeah. And and I don't think it really matters what they think about the graphics on Red Dead. Yeah original because um i don't think that obviously it adds to the experience but i think gameplay is more important yeah i still play gameplay i still play grand, grand theft auto vice city yeah i mean people still play the original mario bros yeah and that, look at those graphics i, I know damn I, think, I play sonic <laughs> everyone yeah. likes to mention about red dead 2 like arthur morgan how much of a good character was and how he felt real. I think the thing that made him feel real was that everything else felt real. Around yeah. You. Like they went down to motion capturing horses. They motion captured literally everything in the game. It's good. Like even the characters riding the horses. Ultra realism. Characters. Yeah. It's great. Um. But yeah. Um. I should imagine that is it for Red Dead, isn't it? We've taken a very long time on these current generation games. But you can stay if you want. Why not? But thanks for talking uh, to us about Red Dead. Um, so, Jan, the janitor. <laughs> All right. Yes. Last of Us Two. The, yeah, about the future. Um, the game's coming out. So the Last of Us Two. So first, anyone play Last of Us One? I have seen it. I've no, not played no, it. I've no seen it. It's right. a good game. Um, yeah. It's an amazing game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it was it, really good. Isn't it? Um, like a kind of a dis you have to make decisions. Uh, no, basically on the, on the controller you only have like, you can only press five buttons, so yeah, you don't yeah. even need to um, use every button, but no, I mean, you, you can't, I mean, <clears throat> it was a good story game, yeah. Yeah. See. So the thing That's is, now they, the developer, uh, developers, Naughty Dog, they announced The Last of Us 2 already in 2016, but there's still no release date yet for The Last of Us 2. <laughs> but we, uh, we know that the... It takes five years after the story from from the first one, with a 19-year-old Ellie. That was the little girl. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's now 19, and that's actually the only thing we know about Last of Us 2. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, but just, she, she's going to be the, the main character in the okay. game. Okay. I can't remember what the main character was of the original Last um, of Us. Joe. Joe, I think it's yeah. a bit different, isn't it? That's kind of funny. Tell you what, if they do make a movie, they should um, have what's his name, um, Hugh Jackman. Huh. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll be good. Um, so differences. What's um, have we seen anything about Last of Us Two? The graphics, or are they? Is it not There's even? Is that there the was a little bit of gameplay. Oh, yeah. I think they did a Last Days of Us gone. remaster and it, it looks like twice as twice as good. And it, and this is a PS4 exclusive. Yeah. yeah. So we're not getting it we're not seeing it on PC. Or um Oh god that yeah. It's probably the only reason why I would buy a PlayStation. Yeah. Oh is it exclusive on PlayStation? Yeah. You know that. I feel like right <laughs> now though, um I feel like they might take their priorities to the PS4 Pro and mm -hmm. then 
the standard PS4 or but the, suffer for it. But the different, there's no difference. There's, there? there's no difference. In fact, there's um, only a resolution difference. So, if they decide they want to, great, we're going to run it in 4K. Um, then that's the only thing that's going to affect it. Now, there will be performance issues. But the graphics already look to me as if they're too good for console. Yeah, definitely a downgrade. Um, and do we know... Obviously, there's no um, ray tracing, but do we know anything about the graphics engine? Because well, it the, the light quality and... The reflection quality is very, very good. Um, just looking at a video of it. I think PS4 Pro might struggle with all of that though because um, it is, in a way, simulated 4K. It's not yeah, native. Yeah, exactly. It's not native. Which is which will also it's provide a very different visual experience as well. Yeah. <coughs> um, but they're saying that they won't downgrade the um, graphics for The Last of Us 2 either. So maybe there might be a bit of a struggle on current generation consoles for running that. Yeah. That's what I'm fearing there. I'm fearing that they're making a game that won't be, even though consoles are locked at 30 frames per second, I'm fearing a game that won't be able to, um, you know, the playability yeah, we'll just won't be there because it won't be able to be ran at 30 frames even though it's logs yeah like the settings just run up sounds a bit like crisis it does it does sound a bit like crisis can it run crisis no it can't <laughs> because <laughs> yeah exactly it's it's like from 2008 isn't it i don't know it's like you're trying to put a piece in now i mean 2007 2007 it's better than crisis yeah and do you know what and it, it just can't, it just can't run, I know. because for that time the res, the, the textures and the, the resolution was so detailed and high, yeah. and it and it loads the whole world. It looks so by good the way, that was yeah. the problem. The loads the whole world at the start of the game. By the way, yeah. which puts massive pressure onto the CPU, and of course it's EA. Yeah. But I mean. It's just terrible for that, and it, that's what I don't want for Last of Us 2. If I have to buy a console to play Last of Us 2, that's not what I want. Mm. I don't want to not be able to play it at the frame rate that I want. Uh, yeah, it's 30, it's 60 it's FPS, way. because PC, I can play anything. I can play anything on my laptop yeah. here that I've got at 60 FPS, easy, high settings, yeah. maybe max settings. And you know, the graphics just look too good on on The Last of Us too. Yeah, I think even but, exclusives should stop. It's in a way, exclusives should still come out on PC for that yeah. extra frame rate. Exactly. Yeah, because some, some yeah. consoles just aren't made to run games. Like if you've ever seen Dead by Daylight on console, you get like twenty frames. It's yeah, like, I know it's bad. It's hard. It's like it's, it's it's some you can't, you can't play it. For console. Yeah, exactly. Um. So, Days Gone, is it? Um, yeah, Days Gone. That's the one. New game. Um, so, what's Days Gone about? Is I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It's PS4 <coughs> exclusive as well. I'm, I'm talking about PS4 fire, exclusive. I'm so. actually going to keep a fire extinguisher in my room when I play that. <laughs> <laughs> make sure my PS4 doesn't go <laughs> Um. So, like The Last of Us 2, I'm fearing the graphics are too good. Actually, yeah, the release date is already next month, 26th next month. April. <coughs> yeah, okay, they're not going to be able to. Um, <coughs> they've got to think of a performance solution then. They either uncap the game from 30 FPS or they just unlock all the cores for gaming in the console. Because, like Last of Us 2, it just looks too good. Mm. But have we got any... Is there any leaked gameplay? Or there is, there... yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you can search up. We're, we're definitely going to get a lot of downgrades. I think it's sort of becoming a trend of companies to just keep downgrading and people are beating it. They've got this. Let's oh, wow. Dinner. That's cool. Like, um, Rainbow Six Siege looks great, but that had a massive downgrade. Yeah. Downgrades have become exactly. a, a yeah. trend. And I, I play Six Siege on PC. Yeah. Um, I think we all do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like, what, what's today's gone about again? So basically, <coughs> um, you play a former outlaw and bounty hunter, and it's two year, uh, it's two year after a global pandemic occurred, which killed almost oh, all of humanity. Yeah. And the zombies are actually they're called freakers. Yeah. That's cool. Name. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they're just hordes. So it's basically you can do it. There are like yeah, there's a story. Um, I think it's about his family. Yeah. And basically, you can. I think you can also choose between a stealth way, yeah, or you just take a rock launcher, shotgun, <laughs> and go through the horde. Yeah, it goes along, so, it can be the bike too, then, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a exactly, sense, he has a bike. In a sense, is it like Left 4 Dead too? Is there actually a it story is, to it? I think that there is a story, but it's actually it's I think a little bit like. Is it like a sandbox? Left 4 Dead, yeah. I think, it's free room. I think it's free room. Yeah, it's open world game. It's, not uh, it's game. just like, uh, imagine the zombies. Imagine the zombies being like the ones in Left 4 Dead, but in an open world. Yeah. Oh, okay. And being in massive groups. Because yeah. like, I've played Left 4 Dead for a while. You've seen World War Z, where they all like, jump yeah, yeah, and yeah. run into each other. That's basically what they do in the game. So, is there a story to it? Yeah, there is a story. It's probably going to be one of those really loose... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna that's, be that's kind of the reason I don't like. I think it's, 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 game. it's about the gameplay. Yeah. yeah, so it's more like having fun than the yeah. story. And but <laughs> there will be a story. Yeah. I think you have to save his family or yeah. Okay, that's um, that, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Not either because I d I don't really generally like those games, but um, I really that, for, for that reason. That for that reason, because it, there's no base to it, there's no, there's no story. It's too. I mean, you know, you've got to have those games like you know, just cause. You know, you can yeah. just have fun. You yeah. Know? Just, just cause no. that kind of game, which whenever I'm really bored, the Wi-Fi's down. <laughs> yeah. And I just yeah. want to blow yeah. something up. I play Just Cause for about an hour and then yeah. come back off of it. Well, that if if that's like what Days Gone is going to be turning into, then. Yeah. Uh, but, cool. So, are we done with Days Gone? Yep. So, ha. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. The Division 2, yeah. Oh, Anyone yeah. played The Division 1? Oh, yeah. Have you? Oh, oh yeah. I've played it. Did you like it? Out? It's, just, it's good. Is it? It's a good game. <laughs> I played it on PS4. There were a lot of issues, though. I think. There yeah, were issues. I think the so bullet sponge. The bullet sponge was, I think, the biggest problem, right? And you used to, you could, you used to be able help. to get shot through, like, through, um, what's it called? I saw a video, you, you need like sometimes six magazines for, for one enemy sometimes. I mean, this yeah. is. For NPC enemies, sometimes you felt they had more health than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That's what they I had, actually. Like, yeah, they, they yeah. It, it does take a while, but it is a good game and it yeah. looks good and it feels good. But you screw when you're playing your own. <laughs> yeah. Nothing you can do, you're going to die exactly. multiple times because you've got no one to pick you up. And that's the thing about Tom Clancy games. It solely depends on your teammates. Yeah. If you have a, if you don't have a team, <laughs> you're just effed. Yeah. <laughs> like um, when you yeah. see people on consoles, who don't have, uh, who don't use mics, mm. the team fails. But whenever you got PC, when you can actually type, you can type yeah. chat. It goes so much smoother because you can communicate still without a mic. Yeah, exactly. And um, where was um, communication? Some plenty said the wish one. Was it in New York? Oh, I can't remember. I think... No, it was New York. Either New York or Boston, maybe. Yeah, so Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I didn't play it. Division 1. But okay, basically, in Tom Clancy's Division 2, you, you are in, in, in Washington. And you are, your base is the White House. So you're in the White House. Well, fair enough. Yeah. yeah near, near future New York. This is actually your okay. base. Right there, yeah. Donald yeah. Trump is the main survivor now. <laughs> Ooh, smallpox. <laughs> um, that's that's cool. I yeah, so they are, look there to are that. like four frac uh, fractions. Uh -huh. I think I'm not sure. No, I think you can choose one. 
But you have to fight against the others. Hmm. Um, big question. Do we know if there's going to be RTX on it? Probably not because it's use Ubisoft. But is it going to be... When when well, is that released? It's going to be on March? PlayStation and Xbox One. So and... and we, mm, well, yeah. But I doubt it. Okay. It might be coming later on. I'll tell you what, the, um, the Division on PC, the port wasn't very good. Oh, no, I know. I tried yes. playing it, and I should be able to run that. I, sh I should. Server problems, isn't it? Yeah. Did they rush that game more, was it? Oh, of course they, they did. They, they definitely um, rushed they that rush game. every game. Yeah. It, it was a game with a ton of... Okay, this is Ubisoft for you. Think about Watch Dogs. And the second one, they always do a good comeback, Watch Dogs 2. But um, they all, the first game is always great concepts, really rushed. Yeah. They build up hype, and then they let everyone down. Yeah. But hopefully with that second game, again, they can improve. Maybe they've learned. Mm. They I mean, learn on Watch Dogs 2. I think Ubisoft's a good company. You know, I, I think... You know they care about the consumer. They they make pretty good games. Okay. They don't overcharge stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I think generally they're pretty good. Ubisoft aren't necessarily the greatest. They're, yeah. I think they're they kind good. of. I mean, not all the other companies are so bad. I think I think they're kind of EA 2.0. Yeah. Ubisoft. I yeah. Don't know. Nah, I wouldn't say that. No. I, I mean, I'll do. Blue boxes give me your money, kind of companies. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I mean, Ubisoft's more cosmetic rather than gameplay. Yeah, that's I, true. I don't, I don't mind um, cosmetic items, DLC, but it's, if it affects the gameplay and you can pay to be better. Yeah, mm. I mean, like that, ten percent no. damage. You know, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. That's, that's that's just there's yeah. no point in. I mean, when people pay for character customizations, I see some people complain that you shouldn't be paying for that, but you, you don't, don't need to get it. Yeah, you like, don't need to get it. But yeah. when it yeah. comes to actual gameplay changes. But if there, if it's like a DLC which is literally half of the game, you yeah. know, and it was meant to be there on launch, and you're paying for it, it doesn't make any sense. So, wait, wait I'm just gonna say, I think you're all forgetting. Ubisoft made Just Dance. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's true. Michael Jackson version. Yeah. Like yeah, we don't yeah. want to be talking about Michael Jackson at the moment, <laughs> do we? Allegations. Yeah. Did you not hear what happened? Oh, I heard what happened. Uh, yeah, no, but just, um, just leave it, man. Just yeah, yeah, we're not talking about that anyway. Oh. That's off topic. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we've learned <laughs> is that the Division Two is going to be great, except from the fact that Ubisoft are the developers. Um, but regardless, moving on, we need to move on. Yeah, Metro Exodus. Oh Metro yeah, Exodus. <laughs> oh yes, is RTX in this so one? It, isn't it's there? already out there, yeah. for say. I haven't actually seen much about it. I think it looks cool though. I haven't really been looking into the game. But mm. Yeah, I didn't know it's about something this. Something I'd be quite interested in. So yeah, it is a first person, a uh, first person shooter game. Yeah. Um, set in the post a uh, couple. Apocalyptic <laughs> wastelands. Apocalypse, yeah. <laughs> of the former Russian Federation, yeah. It's basically survival horror and stealth games. A uh, game. Just basically like Metro, anyway. Yeah. It's like one of the only good snow level games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone hates the snow and, games. And I love snow and games. I love snow and games. I love it. I yeah. love it. I love it. Even GTA right. annoys me after about it. Does. No, I, I love it. It looks so good. Look, it looks so much better in snow. I love yeah. snow. But Metro, um, its legacy is great. I've got 2033 in oh, my same. Steam um, thing because it was free, yeah, if you I remember. Well. Oh, I love that. I got it for Games for Gold on Xbox 360. Fair enough. <laughs> I still haven't downloaded it, but um, it Metro Exodus um, looks great. Obviously, yep. mainly due to RTX. Also has great reviews. Metro Exodus looks great, mainly due to RTX, um, and I think that. Well, do we know much about gameplay? I've not seen yeah, anything. It, it's out yet. Yeah, they've got um, <laughs> what's gameplay. Yeah. Or did it come out? Fifteenth um, yeah. February. Do you know how much it's going to be? So, no? Hmm? <laughs> I, I might get it. Yeah, same. I feel like it's going to be like 80 quid though, so... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's no, it's 50. Wow. It's not fair. 50 quid. Yeah. That's not, not too bad. It's pretty generous, considering some games now. Yeah. Yeah, um, 50. I paid 64 quid for Horizon 4. <laughs> But I didn't get the deluxe. I didn't quite get the deluxe edition, but I got um, another edit, the, the, the middle edition that I like to say. I can't remember what edition, but um, 
I mean, I don't think they should cost that much. But regardless, um, Metro gameplay. What does it look like? I haven't seen anything. Is there anything that we can watch right now? Because uh, yeah, 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 there is. Um, so or there's a gameplay. There's a trailer gameplay trailer. Yeah, on the E3. So it was the trailer that came out like a year yeah. ago. Um, um, but, um, you know, it's really, it's Metro, you can't really say much about it. It, it does look beautiful though. It does. Graphics, and, yeah. what, what's it about, remind us, because... It's sort of really, it's like a dystopian universe, it's is, is it open world? I can't remember. Yeah, it's open world. Uh, yeah, the, um, the game's based around oh, wow. sort of, um... I can't really remember whether it was like these zombie mutated yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, creatures. Yeah, exactly. You fight against. And them. most of the time you spend it in the mesh <laughs> that <of> underground. <laughs> but a lot of it, it seems you're going to be coming from underground now with all the outside mm. scenery. That looks so much better than all the other games of its. its it reminds style. me of like the new Doom. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Sort of the graphics. Style, kind of. The graphics. It's got the same style. Yeah. Um. The the art style. Um, obviously, looks exactly well, kind of similar, but um, it looks to me as if it's one of those games where it looks really mm. good, but is not intensive at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a look at the might, specs actually. Might, it might actually the Just gameplay, me. which I found about the original Exodus games, is it not Exodus? Not Me Exodus. Metro. There's Metro, sorry. Yeah. The thing I found about the original games is that. They were really good, but they felt clunky at times. Yeah. I hope the new game doesn't feel as clunky. Well, it, it doesn't. Looks pretty, so, it, it yeah, looks it awesome. certainly yeah. looks as if it's not. And, yeah, and it looks quite smooth. I mean, it only requires an i5 4440, well, 4440, <laughs> and a GTX 670. So <laughs> I can play that. Mm -hmm. We can all play that. That's great. Um, I can play it with uh, 60 racing. Yeah, 60 FPS high. I can't wait. I'm going to be buying that. <laughs> but um yeah um it's one of those hidden treasures treasures by the looks of things mm. you know double double whammy not intensive at all but looks like it's amazing but um it sort of looks like a uh, fallout 4 at times yeah it does yeah, doesn't yeah, it yeah. um but better <laughs> but a lot yeah, better the, i don't like the, fallout <laughs> the color palette looks quite similar Ooh, can we talk about Talk about uh, Fallout seventy six. I like Fallout four though, but no, we can't. Not that's not, that's not on our. Terrible. That's not on our um, thingy. That's not current. The new it's one not, doesn't it's exist. Not it doesn't yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just um, not the recommended requirements, which is uh, four seven seventy k. Oh, I could, oh, no, that's, we have a ten seventy. That's uh, recommended. Yeah. But, I mean, I can play games that have got Holy. that system oh. requirements. So, but judging by that reaction, I think we're buying it, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, we're gonna have to come to a close on that. That's been a, a good one hour. Good. Well, more than that. Um, but yeah. So, um, any last any last words before we all? Um, any favorite games or? Favorite no, games. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Minecraft. <laughs> but well, actually, Minecraft isn't my favorite game. It's uh, Rainbow Six. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a good game. But um, anyway, um, thanks for um, tuning in, listening. Um, thanks for coming, Sam. Thank thanks you everyone. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. So, sick. Thank you.